Hi everyone, and welcome to Rum Runner Dance. I'm Dan Genovese. Today we're gonna to be making a tiki drink, the ankle breaker. breaker is a cocktail eh, it's probably not really well known around the tiki circle but it's definitely a tiki drink um, interestingly it comes from the swamp fox room it's made around the 1950s now according to management there's this story about this cocktail but i wanted to read this one directly from the book because i don't want to get it wrong this one comes to us from beach bum berries remix uh, so you know beach bum berries remix has two books inside of it, Intoxica and Grog So according to the management there, Revolutionary War hero France, General Francis Marion broke his ankle jumping from the second story window while trying to escape, quote, sober from a party, sober, yeah, from a party at which this drink was flowing too freely. Okay. <laughs> That, I don't doubt Beach Bum Berry. I mean, I believe everything that guy writes that somebody told him that. But as we kind of know, sometimes management likes to invent stories in order to promote things and sell drinks and make interesting experiences for people. So whether you believe the story or not, it's cool, right? Um, but it made me want to try the drink, which ultimately, I guess, is what the purpose of that was. So let's get into making this drink. Today, we're gonna use cocktail shaker. And we're gonna do whip shake. Grab my juicer, my little lemon juicer. Uh, and we're gonna need an ounce here of fresh lemon juice. Right in there. Next, simple syrup, just plain simple. Half an ounce. I like to use two to one in mine. One here, next one we have here is an ingredient we haven't used yet, but it's really popular. It's good stuff. Um, this is actual cherry liqueur. So unlike maraschino cherry liqueur that you get from Luxardo, that's made from cherry pits and some other things in it. That doesn't taste like cherries. <laughs> so don't think that that's cherry liqueur. This is different. This is actually made from cherries and it tastes like cherries. Stuff is delicious. There's a lot of cool tiki drinks that call for it. There's cocktails that call for it too. Um, this is the heaviest pour I've ever seen in a cocktail, but it, it works really well. So we're gonna need an ounce of this guy in the cocktail. Feet or two. Next, wipe my hands off here quick. Base spirit, right? So base spirit we need is good old 151. Now. In Beach Bum Berry's book, he calls for a 151 style rum. Uh, he specifically calls out like Cruzan, um, as well as like Bacardi. Those are amber styles um, and they're column stilled normally. I think Cruzan is column stilled. Actually, I don't know how Cruzan makes their rum. I should look that up. Um, but Bacardi is definitely column still. So it, they're lighter in, they have a little bit different flavor profile than like a pot stilling type rum. And also if you have different characteristics on aging and things like that too, that changes it up. I like to shoot for a Demerara 151. Totally fine if you use a Cruzan 151 or if you did a Bacardi 151, those would be fine. A um, little bit different flavor of the drink and I prefer the little bit darker, heavier flavor here. I like it against the cherry. I like it um, with the lemon in here too. So you need an ounce of this guy in there. All right, and that takes care of the ingredients for the drink. Nice and simple. Next, what we need is some ice. I'm gonna grab that here. I'll set him right there. And we're gonna do a whip shake here again. A little bit of skosh of some crushed ice. You can use pebble too, if you like. I just like the crushed ice here. And then we're gonna go ahead and dump that cocktail into there, pop that in. Seat it in here nice, give it a whip shake. Come with that, give that a little pop. And I gotta tell you, out of all the shakers that I use, 
I am not sponsored by Cocktail Kingdom. Cocktail Kingdom, if you're watching this, absolutely would love to be sponsored by you. Um, but their shakers, man, are they good. Uh, they seat really nice and they pop apart real easy. Can't say enough good things about them. Make sure that you pick some up if you're looking in the market for a new shaker, get them. And if you get the steel variety here, they come in a lot of different plating finishes, but if you just get the regular stainless steel, it's dishwasher safe, easy cleanup. All right, we're gonna dump this into our mug here. So I'm using a, a barrel mug. And I got this barrel mug. This is the matte finish barrel mug from Three Dots and a Dash here in Chicago, Illinois. Um, my favorite tiki bar here in Chicago. Um, and uh, part of the, one of the revival tiki bars. Uh, this is a great mug. If you don't have this, you can use a double old fashioned glass. That'll work too. Now we're just gonna fill this guy up with some crushed ice. All right, that's right up to the top. Perfect. Now, let's garnish this guy up. First, we'll get our nice little Woodrow coaster here. Um, love the rustic style, looks really cool. Pick those up if you don't have them, link below. And I'm gonna grab myself a cherry. Now, you can use a Luxardo cherry for this. It's completely fine. I have a personal preference on this. I like to use bourbon cherries and specifically their Bing cherries. Um, I love these, they taste really good, great flavor, and they also have uh, kind of like that bourbony aftertaste, but also they kind of, I like the way that these look a little bit more than a maraschino cherry. They look like a regular cherry that you expect to get in the store. I'm gonna be spearing this to my Surfside Sip Bones uh, cocktail skewer. Yes, that's right. If you didn't know, they're not just a company that makes great reusable glass straws. They also make cocktail picks. They also make cocktail stirs. Uh, At checkout, use Rum Runner 20 and you get 20% off your order. Also, our straw here. I'm gonna use the bone straw. Um, I think it's fitting, ankle breaker. Bone straw, it's kind of funny. Um, so I'm going to use that in here as well. And last thing that I want to put in here is I like to do a little bit more of a garnish than just that. Even though that looks nice, I'm going to want to put in some dehydrated lemon. And I love the way that this dehydrated lemon looks. This comes from um, Cocktail Garnish Company. Um, definitely check out the, uh, the affiliate link I have with them below. Fantastic guys, small business, bar guys that came up with this and it's like a bar company with bar garnishes in mind for bartenders and home bar users it's perfect all right so there you have it everyone that is francis marion's hotel's ankle breaker let's give it a taste mm, yeah you know it's <laughs> it's such a good drink i mean i love this drink it's so simple right it's um the citrus that's in there with the lemon is really there to kind of like brighten this up a little bit because otherwise it would be a little heavy and kind of you know i don't want to say like yeah it would be a little heavy of a drink is probably the best way kind of like you know having like strong coffee would be it, just, it needs something to lighten it up and the, and the lemon in here is a much needed component to lighten this up the sweetness here um, from the simple as well as the cherry herring um, that comes in, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Cherry is definitely a big strong flavor here and I like the way that the Lemon Heart and Sons 151 Demerara pairs with it because you have this strong oaky spicy flavor from the Demerara which I love, it's a fantastic flavor. Pairing that with sweet dark cherry, it's like a match made in heaven, it's phenomenally well. I, I would say this is a good sipper to have out on like, you know, nice cool night, sitting around the fire wanting to get warm. Why don't you grab yourself one of these? You won't be disappointed. Thank you all very much for tuning in today for our episode on the Ankle Breaker. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't already, please click that subscribe button down there and subscribe to our channel so you get notified as soon as new videos come out. Also check the links down here and check out some of my other videos I have. I have videos on tiki drinks, just like this, original drinks, 
and as well as classic cocktails. Thank you all so much, and until next time, everyone, Coley Maluna. Mm.